you practicing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. I'm let's recording. do it again. Like, what? <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Start over. The camera should roll. My name is Nehemi Arvans. And I'm Luca Nyerling, you see? And our and sexuality is not, not a face. face. And this is our episode. Enjoy it. So, so let, let's start to talk about my sexuality is not a face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so I, I should think when somebody says, I mean, it happens most of the time at a workplace, places that we, we work at church, um, like most of the places people tell us, oh, no, it's just a phase. I, I think sometimes it just, like, it, it, it usually kind of sound like you don't want to learn something about me. You don't want to know who I am. You don't want to come into my comfort or to my zone and learn or ask me so how it works because it's like you are dismissing something which is there, like you know you, you have seen my sexuality, but you're dismissing it. You, you don't, don't want to talk about it. Because when I say, oh, it's, it's just a phase. You all got over it. And there's nothing for me to say, should mm. I scream? Mm. And that's something that pe- most people like, yeah, they get to get lost in it. Yeah. Because if ever, like, when you grow up and then they see you, like, okay, you are different into other kids, into, according to their perspective or in, according to what they want you to be. Mm-hmm. Like, they just say, okay, no, it's just a phase. Maybe at some stage, like, you'll, like, get away mm-hmm. and then be, like, someone else. Of which is not true at all. Because if ever you are born to be gay, you're gonna be gay. Yeah. Either way. You're born gay. You're, you're gay. born gay, you, you are gay. Like, it's in you, like, it's within you, like, it's, it's in your it's veins. So it's something that's not gonna pass it. it or, or it's something that you, when you get in some certain stage, okay, you know, like, oh, it, that was just a phase, so I'm, like, tending to be straight now. Yeah. It's, that's the thing not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Um, sexuality is sort of phase. It's a real life. We have people that kind of try and deeming sexual this sexuality thing try to dim head homosexuals life by oh, it's just a phase you get over it da, 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 da. go to church be saved be baptized yeah, but really it's it's not like that you need to kind of take time to know me because trying to push me down it doesn't change who i am trying to send me into a depression cycle by Thinking that you may be yeah you changing it doesn't it, like it doesn't change anything you just killing me inside but however my social is a phase and I'm here to tell the story this bitch is not dying I am here I'm gonna leave I'm gonna get engaged I'm gonna have more sex are you gonna get engaged or are you engaged what are you saying I'm engaged I'm gonna get married I'm gonna have kids I'm gonna live happily ever after if that you ignore me you think it's a phase but it's not a phase. My sexuality is not a phase. I think love for us is, is sharing water that we bath with. We bath in the same time when we, we do things together. Uh, oh my god, how do we define love? I think love is everything. Yeah, love is being able like to get comfortable with your partner. Like mm. to do anything. To be able to fight. Exactly. In, in just in front and laugh about it. And, like, that's love. Especially as gay people. It's, when, you're, uh, when you're dating somebody, you can able to do shit in front of. That's love. Love is sharing, love is caring, love is it's able to when you when you're able to do things in front of your partner without being scared, scared or yeah. embarrassed. Being considerate. Like yeah. you have to consider your partner into whatever you're doing. Like you have to consider someone else. Yeah, love is like uh, you have to be able like to talk to your partner yeah. and to like just be freely with your partner. You don't have to like have some boundaries, okay. This and this I cannot share ever. So love is just like be free with your partner. The love is 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 is, 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 is the feeling of being excited, go, coming from work or from ever going to a partner. Love is the feeling of your partner upset you but you still miss them. It's finding yourself who you are through somebody. You know, like it's like looking yourself in a mirror, and you're like, damn, I am good. That is love. Mm. Love is just. Seeing somebody just go, oh my god, oh you mine, oh, mm, mm, mm. I love you. That's how, like love is just unnecessarily beautiful. Okay, so I experience love every day, most of the time. When we able to, to sit down and talk about unnecessary things, I actually experience love when seeing him around people that I love and how he goes along with them, how he laughs at them. It, it, it kind of makes me blush 
I have like millions young brothers. They love coming here most of the time and seeing him be with them. That's most of the time that I experience love. And also the part of them being excited when he's he's here or when he's not here, they ask where he's here. That's most of the time I experience love. When I get a call from him, because it shows me like, okay, that he cares about me. Or like, for instance, when I go to work, uh, uh, if I leave him here, like, okay, he'll be asking me like, are you at work now? Okay, yes, babe, I'm at work. And then, tiki tiki, during last time, how is, how is your day going? Like that's 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 when I, I know that okay I'm being loved I'm being like okay he saw things about me he saw sh like shows that he cares about me that's when I experience love and yeah literally I mm. need don't be too much Charm how we first met oh my God he was wearing as uh, uh, what was that. Uh, with the beard, <laughs> he was wearing like this. What is this kind of this, a sweater jacket that looks like this? The, like this wall <laughs> with um, it has like brown arms, and he was so skinny and he had a big head. It looks like his head was. I have an ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your ask? So you, you painted your wall to represent your first date? Yes. <laughs> Jacket, his jacket. I'm like, okay, we're getting this pen. Uh, like he was so shy, but I, I think the first time I saw him was like that the person I want to be with. She, but he was young that moment. I was older, he was younger, and then he was not even circumcised that time. Oh, Lord. Yeah, uh, I, I, our first sex was in the bathroom, though. That's when you broke up the set. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, and that's what, so we actually met 2015 and yeah, a lot of, like I've been in relationship out and in and he's been in relationship out and in, he went to the mountain but we will keep in touch, in conduct with each other um, and then at, at that moment he thought he was bisexual so I was giving him space and time but get me I was watering my flower carefully, mm. grow be the person that I want. One day was one day I was like, child, stop this. And then here we are. And 12th of September 2020, I did the Beyonce. If you like it, put the ring on it. Yeah, so that's how we met. How do we met in your, in your, in your version? Yeah, you said most of the things. Uh, I think we... That was, um, I, 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 I met him like uh, through we were going in a study in mm. Masi, that's how I met And he was this loud person and I was like, okay. And I got really, louder. Really, and uh, as, we, as I got to know him, like he got louder and louder. But then like, that that hasn't been something, okay, that's made me to stop loving him. It just made me like to love him even more. Because I, I realized, okay, that uh, he, he's someone that I cannot change. He is who he is, like, and he just get along with anyone, and he talks too much, and the fact that he talks, and uh, I'm a little bit shy, that's something that, okay, that made me, okay, you know what, this is a person, like, this is my person. I'm gonna be loud on your behalf. Yeah. Oh, so, in the first day, with the date, he, we, we were in Mercy, and he come home, it was like, I had, like, one room that I was staying in, and it's like, he come in, he's sitting in a bed, he's like, Put me water to bath. I'm like, child. Yeah. Reason. Like, no, 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 and the first time we had sex, it was in the bathroom. The floor was cold. At a club? Where? No, it, it, no, it was sober. We were like literally sober. We. I don't want to name the building okay. because I still visit the building more often. Uh, but it's a building somewhere where 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 my income come from. But I'm, I'm not disclosing anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was just like fun. Uh, mm, mm. And then we broke the bathroom. Apparently, some 
well-known university in Cape Town have to pay for that bathroom? That would broke. I mean, like because they they there have been like people coming in and out, like they're trying to knock, to, trying to, to open get it. in, but then we were there. <laughs> you can see, uh, literally. <laughs> Next, so so sexuality is is one hell of confusing question or a statement or a phrase that whenever you need you when you're addressing sexuality you do not offend you do not pick everybody's sexuality on your like on their behalf speaking on my my behalf i am like on my behalf because i'm not speaking fully of me because i might things might change so part, part of me is not speaking so i'm speaking fully. <laughs> literally i find some women attractive to, like I, I i'm attracted to, 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 to them, but you're thinking if we have sex, it's gonna take forever. Uh, but sexually, I think I'm gay. Yeah. I'm attracted to men. I'm attracted to boys. I'm attracted to to to. I'm a queen queen. I'm a queen because the person who's not circumcised, right? No, no. Oh, he dropped because I'm not. I'm not there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just attracted, attracted. Oh, and I also find. You know, you, you know that this bush lesbians that look like boys. Like I'm so attracted to them, but I'm thinking, oh, do I have to penetrate them? Because that will happen. But then I'm not like forcing something that I don't like. So I think I'm gay. I don't know about him. Well, I am gay. As you said, like at first, like I wanted to be bisexual. I wanted to be bisexual. Oh really? Well, I, that's what I can say. Because like I was still at school and then you know like at school okay they expect you to like to be dating a girl and then seeing you with a girl. So I was dating this girl like just to be like a front car. You dated a girl? Yes I dated a girl. But then we never slept together. We oh. were just like dating dating and it happened to be my classmate and when she found out okay that's when like okay I decided you know what this is who I am I am gay. So like did you, did you like share like her? Of course. Well, what did you I, say? I did. Uh, what did she say? I, I didn't do much because I knew that okay, she was into me. So, so what like, did you say? No, I thought I like you. Mm. And then <laughs> <laughs> that I like you. And then we took and then we took it from there because like she was very fond of me. And even after our breakup was like we just tend to be friends. Like there was nothing much. Did, nothing did you kiss her? The, yeah, once. <laughs> Don't be, don't be like that. You can't kiss the other gender and kiss me. <laughs> Literally, that's like breaking the rules. And that was before. That was before. I, 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 well, I, I realized my real, real sexuality. Like, okay, yeah, I am gay. But sometimes I actually just feel sorry for people that don't know. Because men, most of gay people, most of them, they use girls for no reason. Dead them just for cover up and mm. still they're fucking with mm -hmm. other guys. To the point they end up is leaving the woman pregnant or she becomes pregnant, she thinks she's in love, but they are, they are doing a cover and then even this baby, you just saw my family could shut up, my family da da da. Mm. And at the end of the day, you leave, you, you left a woman, a single mother, no job, da 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 da. da. It's, it's, it's literally not good. Every gay man who's watching this, stop using somebody to make yourself happy. Stop using a woman to, to make you happy. When you are in a relationship with a woman, is that keep in mind that is a human, that's a person. They have dreams, they have wishes, and they have feelings. Yeah. Like so when they tell you what, what, what they want, listen. To, so that he, can you give it to them or cannot? Literally, I, or how you feel your sister being pregnant by a gay, gay, gay person? Jiggy, jiggy. The person going to get married to you know? to another guy. <laughs> well, uh, I'll start with the taking of names. Okay, I'll be taking his name. And you will be taking my surname. For instance, I'm gonna be Luca and Lengi Si Simango. And then it can be like Nemia Lengi Lemia Simango Lengi Si. Like, which includes like both families. You don't wanna like, okay, take one family and then we leave other family apart. And, and also in terms of Lawala, I, 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 I mean, like, we might, both of us. So we, there's not gonna be like, we, He's a woman, or you know, I'm a man, so like I have to pay a lobola, or he has to pay a lobola according to my family. Uniting families, so there will be a part where we need to list if they give us their blessing. Of course, they will say a few things what they wanna see, mm -hmm. or we'll sit down and talk. We're not gonna just say we're getting married. You guys are coming. Da, 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 da. No, 
they say we we listen also we say so conversation wise i am open to ev to anything to lobola how how because if i pay he should pay or if i pay exactly he should you know yeah. uh however changing systems yeah I, I mean it's it's it, like it's no brainer you you take my sendem i take a sendem uh i think part of me want him to take my name but i'm thinking it's too shady right uh it's too selfish so Send them a good Nehemiah Simango Lengisi, literally. Never dream of it. Uh, yeah, so we we'll, we'll do that. Um, but however, this is family. Family will have to meet, sit down, talk, what's happening, and take a step from there. Yeah, because I mean, like marriage, it's a uniting both families, families yeah. like to come together. It's, 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 I think it's more like. Oh hey, we've been having sex in the bathroom in a restaurant, so we thought, oh, our sex is good together. How about you guys knowing that we we are having sex? You know, like <laughs> our family went in the bedroom, don't know, we're not friends. Mm -hmm. We're trying to, to make a baby, however, one of us that doesn't have a womb, but we are <laughs> trying. <laughs> like nobody's gonna say anything. I am willing to lose people that are thinking this at first because hey, I'm gonna show you the hand. Here it is. Bye. Because this is not a phase. It's not a phase at all. And oh, I love him. <laughs> what is the no no no, no to, to, to love? He's wearing a golf shirt to the top of the button. He last he put the last button. Who doesn't love a man like that? I mean <laughs> And here I am with the cleverage. <laughs> <laughs> you people <laughs> You don't understand. <laughs> so if you take a surname, it's like I, I, I accept the garbage you come with. Your ancestors, your your sisters, your cousin. You know, every family have that 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 spoiled bread nephew. So I'm saying I'm taking all those people and I'm gonna love them. And if they, okay, I'm like, hey, hey, ah, yeah, come on, come on, So yeah, bad guy, cause I can't help it. Come, yeah. So it, it, I think it's more like oh, why you last name it feels like you don't really, you did not really open your door fully to welcome him. So give him him give him my sentence like open door for him because the first thing after we get married is the Facebook status. He have to change to jiggy 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 heavy heavy. And then as time goes on, home affair wise, me home affair wise, mm. as time goes on, family wise, family wise, ah, yeah, 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 family, no? ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> babies. People, babies. I feel like as a gay people, there is so many kids in Africa who are hungry, who are uh, parents that only, cannot afford to send them to school. There is so many kids that they would really do with some pair of shoes or uniform. You don't really need to adopt that kid, but as much as you feel like you need to take care of a kid, you need a kid, starting by learning to take care of that child next door, even in, in the yellow staying. I'm not gonna put names. There is single parents here who are not really coping. You could do well with some porridge now and then. And I think you want your your your, your kid for what? To be to uh, to carry your name or to be loved or to take care of what exactly you want to care? No, it uh, uh, it's just an idea of having your own spam. You have your own spam, what do you mean? You like, you're, you're seeing your, 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 your reflection, your true reflection, like, okay, that's me. You see it on the mirror? Ah, really, now. Nah. Mm -hmm. Like, the idea of me uh, wanting a kid, like, uh, it's because I, I, I'd love to have, like, someone that I can, like, see that, okay, this is my child, someone that I can call, like, someone that I, I know that I made that person. Mm, Besides, yes, I, 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 I understand the idea of adopting or, or like taking care of other kids, like I don't mind that, but then like at some point, like it just comes in my mind, like you know what, I just, it seems like it even, seem, I've been like seeing my sister's kids, like and I'm like, okay. So my men look like this. It, yeah, like seeing them grow up, like it, that's how, that's so what since I, that's, we married, that's what since, I since you're gonna get married, how are you gonna do it? Are you gonna tell me? Are you gonna just being a cosa man and pregnant somebody tell me three years down? Like, I mean like that's something that's something that we could, we will have to talk about. We, we are talking that, now. Yeah, well in front of a camera. Witness, record this, is it running? <laughs> How are you gonna do this? That's something that I'm gonna tell you, you know what, baby, okay, I think now like I want a child. Like 
this is the time that I want as well. So it's either like uh, find a woman or we do that surrogacy thing or like either way, like however we do it. That's something that we're gonna discuss about and then like take it from there. Okay. So you're gonna find a woman to just jig jig. I mean like they will carry a sperm. Yeah. Mm. So you're gonna have to sleep with a woman? Are you gonna use the position we use here or are you just gonna like create a new position? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna know like are you gonna find a new position? <laughs> Ah, there won't be. Imagine him <laughs> stealing our <laughs> position and, and, and pregnant woman with it. <laughs> Next. Um, so, like, I was just thinking now you could actually find a lesbian couple that also wants a child um, and then need to discuss okay, or maybe artificial okay. insemination, go through the whole process with someone, a, a lesbian couple, because also they can't make children. Okay. So. Now it's gonna be an agreement between the two of you. But okay, maybe our first child together is gonna to be Nehemiah and Sia Sanga, and then the second child it's gonna be yours and the other girl. You know? Okay. Okay then. No, I don't. I, like I don't. You somebody look like me? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> like this whole world doesn't deserve another me. Like never. I think that would, that would, that will work. Um. The lesbian it could work. Mm. I'm just thinking, where do we work again for IVF and where people could just have sex? But then you're gonna have sex, and then every time I look at you, bitch, you have sex. Uh, I'll move on to another body. <laughs> Literally. So I think having sex, there's a way of losing me and the way of keeping me. For me, sex for me, for him to have sex with a girl, or for us to have sex with a girl, it's not really a deal I think there's a way to, to do it. Like, like, yeah, so either after that, I'll have to keep repeating the idea of him having sex with somebody for a kid. And sometimes a kid, it doesn't happen once. You happen, you, can, you need to have sex every time. All time. And if that happened, so I need to keep replaying the thought of that. So that might even make us stronger, which is 10% that our relationship might be strong after that. It's 10% chances. Us breaking up is like 90% after that. Uh, so as you gay, he wants to make himself happy by having a baby and I'm not happy with him having sex, but I'm happy with the baby. So this is a lot. If you come to me, I don't want a baby. I don't want a baby. There's so many babies he can take out of, of his sisters. What's coming out of you? First of all, like, I, I would say I, 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 I did came out like to my family. Mm -hmm. Like as to tell them, okay, this is... No, like I'm gay. Like this is not the look on you that you thought I I was, or that you wanted me to be. I am gay. Like and this is me. Like so that's what uh, coming out. I uh, I think that that it means. Is that how you come out? Like because I I, I remember I I I created a, a group of in WhatsApp, I, and I put my my two sisters and then I wrote them like this long message and then like in the end I said okay so this is me. It's either you accept. I don't. I don't. I don't expect you to 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 to, to expect it to accept me. to accept it. But then I want you to respect me as for my, who I am. And that, that and that was it. And then later on, I, I got a call that from my sister, from my elder sister, and then she said, "Okay, so now that you told us, but then did you tell mom about this?" And I said, "No." And when are you planning to tell her? And I said, like, uh, I will tell her when I have a time, like, to, to call her. And that was just something, like, I, I didn't just want to... Just to pass it. Yeah, just to pass And she said, okay, it's fine. I'm going to buy you a time, then you can call her. Did you call her? I did. And did you tell was, her? Yeah, I did tell her. But then, as the time, like, you know, like, how mothers are. But, but according to my mother, but I had to explain it as to like, what gay is and how, how this whole situation is gonna work. Like, so what am I? What am I now? Like, I am the now. We more fix I had to. Oh, my Mali. We are cool, No, mama. <laughs> exactly. I had to come to the word, but okay, no, mama, this is stubborn. No, instead of being say, instead of saying like that, I'm gay in order for her like to get it. Okay. 
But I, I could feel her that okay, she's very disappointed because she was she was after the whole situation, the whole like coming out that she was just like down. Okay, so my father make me come out for yeah, he come out for me. <laughs> he he will scream, he will shout at me, he will say he I'm not his son, I don't know him. I, I remember one day in Christmas, he just woke up and started shouting at me because I was gay. Da, 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 da. And Christmas, like, I eat that Christmas and New Year without him not talking to me, which is uh, this is a story for another day. Uh, so I, I think after that, some of my, my older brother, my young brother, they, they know, they knew that I was gay. And some give me a good treatment, some give me a bad treatment. Uh, and then my my mother's prayer was for me to come to Cape Town to find a good life. And I'm sure where she is right now, because she passed on, she thinks this is a good life and this is a good life. And waking up next to another man, ah, uh, it's like, like you wake up to your chest. Like, I do not know. I, I asked myself, what, what am I going to feel like waking up to a chest full of breasts? Right now, I wake up in a, in a chest full of hair and another man, another the same gender. <laughs> <laughs> However, yeah. So coming out for me, I, I had so when I come to Cape, to, Cape, to Cape Town, I had to distance myself from my family that was here because in the idea that I had, I wanted to be myself. I wanted to be me. I wanted to find. I wanted to be independent. I wanted to do things in my own way because as a Zimbabwean, when I came here, people had certain expectation. Mm. Me, how I need to behave since I'm South African, it's send money home to Zimbabwe, raise kids. Like, they wanted to do it in jail, yeah, their like, way. Yeah, and me, being gay, it's, it's a subject that I was never been talked about. However, we do have those cousins who low down gay and they just come like they were sleeping next to you and then they are wet at night. Mm. I, like, I had a few of those, I had a few. However, moving on. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so for me, I, it was such, a, it was a struggle for me to grow. I felt like coming out for me, I wanted to grow. So I found, I wanted to find myself, I wanted to grow. I wanted to start my own family. I wanted to start a gay family. Uh, I went to a phase where, it, uh, like, a, a, this church, they asked me to fast for 21 days. So I can still be gay. And I remember one day, my, my, my prayer was like, God, you know what, I want a family. If you create me like this as a gay person, I accept it. I want to be gay. I want, but one thing I want of all time, I want to be happy. My prayer right now is still that I want to be happy. Mm. Right now, being in relationship with the Lucan, it makes me happy. It makes me warm. It makes me relax. It makes me fight at night. If you know the way when you fight at night, you don't think I'm gonna wake people up. There's a way you, you find you thinking, oh, this must have been my, 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 my house. But then because you are so tense, you are not... Like, you know, you feel like you haven't arrived to the party you need to arrive in your life. To the point where people ask you, how old are you? You are scared you to say age because your age and where you are with your life, it doesn't match. My life right now, where I am, things that I do, people that are around me, honey, it matches. Third, I'm 30 and I am glowing. As much as you see my face, it look like a, a, a congress, <laughs> but I'm carrying a beauty, things around it. I am everything, every homosexual want. I'm everything every homosexual wish to. I'm not a social influencer, I'm, I'm not one of those Instagram in, in, wannabe celebrities. I am real, I am me, I'm in love, I have family, I have my young brothers, I love them. Uh, I don't know if they, they love me, but... Oh, so coming out was... so. Let me finish the story. Coming out was to find me. Well, coming out was to find Nehemia. Coming out was to make Nehemia happy. And I am happy right now. So I would say I'm out. Mm -hmm. How did that sound? Happiness. Our biggest conflict in this relationship would be... He doesn't like talking. Me, me, I am that person who flirts with somebody at work all day, same change nudes, and then when I get home, we watch them together. <laughs> like, okay. I've been receiving some high volume of news today, babe. <laughs> this is what's happening. Him, he will receive it, he will respond with his, and... So, I think that's our biggest conflict, right? That's what I think. I don't like talking too much. That's just me. It becomes a problem once he found out about it, and then it becomes like a problem, meaning that... Yeah. To, to him, it will look like, okay, you know what, you had a, like an extra... 
promoting whether you, you are gonna take from here and then to another level even if you are just flirting about it and then you it, it once you don't you don't talk about it it becomes like you as if you're cheating you normally cheat but that's Ooh, not a story so <laughs> the, but, this is the difference so there is flirting with somebody who's in Durban and there's a flirting with somebody who's in Kalisha isn't there a difference the difference when they ask you when are you off exactly. are you mobile you know <laughs> Uh, how is he? So what's gonna happen if he if he finds out? Let's chat as friends. Right now you say there is, babe. I like you. Like you go to social media, bitch. I like you. We have great news. Can I see you naked? Like I don't wanna see your pussy. I wanna see your ass. I wanna see your dick. I wanna see your ex. And people are sending. And then, oh my god, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Oh my god, you far. I know, right? I am far. This is a da da da. Finish there. Oh, the next time when you have a great news, share with me. That's why you're just indulging into human nature news. <laughs> hey, the justification. Like, yeah, of I all. mean, because we did not book, we did not ask, when are you off? We did not ask, are you, when, when are you coming to Jobek? I'm free, like, mm -hmm. hit me up. We're flirting, we are just seeing news. But when I find somebody who's in observatory, and I'm in Mimizenberg, yeah, right now I want to chat. Yeah, so so I think our biggest conflict will be him cheating or me cheating. Uh, yeah, in communi communicating. Without communicating about it. Cheating, you never cheating. communicate. There's no way to communicate that. <laughs> Once you cheat, no way. You could give me a million if you are cheating. When does it come, become cheating? When you want to fuck these people. When you're on a book, and when I'm not telling him, okay, or when I feel like I can tell him this, the moment you you feel like oh my god I cannot talk about this, then it's that is cheating because the fact that you can't tell because you know if it was it's him right. doing the same thing you're gonna be hurt. Do you want me to talk about it? Hmm? What is it? Okay, let me, let me just start. Okay, if there was one thing that I wish like that he has never gone through, like is the fact of not being wanted by your own heart. Like that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot because like, I mean like parents are the people that supposed to be like that you supposed to be feeling freely round about. People that you can be able like to go when you're going through something deeper, then you can be able to go to you know what mom and dad like I'm going through this and this and that. So I need your advice. Like as a young person as you are like and then him going through that like that's something like very painful. That was something very painful because you you still you, you are still young and you you don't know anything about like the sexuality your sexuality. Like all, all what it means. All you know that you can you are attracted into boys. Like having people like uh, being mocking you like about your sexuality, that's something like that hurts a lot. Yeah. It hurts a lot. Even if like when you even you think that you have held it, but then at some point as the time goes by you still like go through that moment, you know what, okay, in order for me to become this person that I am today, like I had gone through this and this and this and that. Uh, I think for me, one thing that I wish I could take away for him not to go through was in 2015, right, when he was diagnosed uh, by a disease, uh, he was young. Were you like 18, right? Yeah. And he was, he was, he was so young at that moment, and there was a part he he had nobody that he could speak to. Uh, I, for, for for me he was he was he was he was so young and I, I think sometimes is it's just when you're getting infected by the rare disease or a, a disease that people know and also scared of you kind of feel like oh my god and he had no one to tell and like you, you just don't know where is the the good hospital where the good surgery or what people can get rid of and what can you do that i feel like for me that was it's kind of a thing that put him into a dark space uh at that moment but i was 
I think I try my best to be there. Yeah, and that's I will try myself to that, be there. That's one, one, one of the things that I would say, like, that got me, like, co more connected into you. Mm. Because, like, at that moment, like, you were the first person. It was you and your other colleague. <laughs> that I won't name. Like, it, it, those are the, it, you were the very first person that I would go to. And even if like I, I went to there and then I speak as, and, and I talk about it, like I would feel freely because I know like okay I talk to someone there and if one. yes if, and even way before that like, even my family I could tell my sisters even because I didn't even tell them they just found out some type of way and then that's when I had to explain it and why I didn't want to tell them because like it was I was young. As you saying, I was young and I was scared, and I had like a lot of emotions around me. And I think you're thinking, am I gonna get married? Exactly. Uh, that was not even like in my head. It was not. That was it, because at that moment, like I just thought, uh, I, I, at some point, the, I, there were like times where I had like some suicidal thoughts because like I didn't know like what to do. And having to go to the public sectors and to speak some to professionals and then that really helped me. I yeah, I think that one thing I could take away. Literally. I mean he's still young, Ulaf was a communist. I mean he just turned to twenty five, so Ulaf was a communist put But okay, whatever I can take away, I would take away. What I can I I, I want some some of the things that you will experience it will be go 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 do his work and I uh, can't intervene. Mm -hmm. God have to deal with you his way. <laughs> I I think for me dating someone who's young, like I know he's young. I'm sure he knows I'm old. But speaking on my behalf, I'm I'm not gonna change. I, I like I don't want him to step out up. I don't need him to act old because at the end of the day I feel like I'm the one who act young in this relationship. I am the youngest. In, <laughs> like <laughs> me, once I take the card, the salad in green green, and you could do some lingam. I can't sleep. He who say, babe, mm -mm. who's sleeping? Me going to 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 a shop, I literally I'll change the whole kitchen. Out, can you shop right home? The tanga is literally like I I am. Oh, so you like, babe? Mm -mm. This is so. I don't feel it, really, like I don't feel it. As much as people say it's challenging, I think when you're dating somebody who's young and childish, that's where it becomes hectic. Or when you date somebody young, knowing this person is young and you expect them to step up, that's where the challenge comes. You need to say, I'm dating somebody young, let them be young. Because we have seven in doing cry on the table. No, let them be, because you know they're young. Yeah. And I am just attracted to young kids, like to literally in my whole life. Oh, so my first boyfriend I did for four, for four years was like ten years older than me. That's me. I feel like I did. Yeah. So when he, he was not working for me, he, he was so not working for me. Like me, I'm like inside, and when I open my mouth, I'm like mature, and 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 and, and, and when I'm thinking, I'm thinking home wise. But when I say when I have fun, I mean let's turn this house upside down. And here, funny, you don't tell her I was with Shaivosh. So I'm not gonna buy Shaivosh, and I'm the Shaivosh. So that's what I'm talking about. Uh, of course, our our, our our terms of thinking are not gonna be always the same. Yeah. We will always think differently, but then like uh, we just have to okay understand like where we come from, and you have to understand the age difference. Like okay, he's thinking like that because of uh, age. Age, okay. So it's either. I want to accommodate him, or I just just gonna let it be. Okay, if you wanna do that, if that's what you like. Then do it. Then I'm gonna do it. But uh, I mean, like age is just a number, as all people say. Like as long as if you guys like, understand each other and then you love each other, and you know what what needed and you know what needed to be done. Like it's either like in the house or like around you, G. If yeah. you know what's good for you guys, like what's working for you guys, then age shouldn't be like 
an issue. And I think as much as you don't use it yeah. in, in arguments, in exactly. challenging yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's so you should, yeah. you know. Because it, it, it becomes a, a challenge or it becomes a problem where they feel like yeah. where an older person try to intimidate you because of their age. Like, you know, you have to do mm. that because I cannot do that. Uh, no, mm. like, yeah, well, that is becomes someone? a problem because if ever we hear, so we should do things. If we can visit each other, so that's it. I think sometimes it becomes challenging when, a, like, an older person, then I think when they're not, I'm, I don't want to say a, like a breadwinner or if you're older, but if your life is not together, it becomes messy. Over a young person is get their life together, so that's where it comes in. So you need to, be, so you need to be old. In the So yeah, and I must see my my woman in the references means you can't be thirty. I wanna see V. You do not twenty five in the CV. Hectic. So yeah, so be thirty and and uh, like your references. I mean, I mean, you haven't seen a ten years old tree with with no fruits in it. They carry fruits, they have seeds. So you can say like like um tom um, 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 cool or empty. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Grow with your grow with your branches. <laughs> uh one advice that I will have for a parent is to try first try to understand your child. I mean it's your child. As much as you like have like uh, as a parent you have like a different views about your child. Mm. And you want them to grow in a specific way, but then it's always the best like to try and accommodate them and mm. try to understand their feelings and try to understand like what they're going through so that you can be able like to learn something from them even though you you don't want to hear about it, but then try to be there for them like yeah. at all times. And as for a child that's like going through that, that has those suicidal thoughts like coming out to your mom and then she doesn't want to hear about it or oh, coming out to your dad I mean like that's something that you need to you grow from it you need to know that in life there will always be people that are not going to accept you for who you are mm. and they are always going to be people that are that, going to try to change you and be someone that they want you to, to be, be yeah. but it, trying to change who you are and then be the person that they want but it's always be the best like what you want and this is you i mean like this is you like you you're not gonna go it's an, it's not it's not a phase it's mm. you if you if you're gay or if you bisexual if you whatever you lesbian that's you that's something that's it, like within you it, yeah. and it's not something that you just grow and pick it up there across the street i mean you have to be patient about it with, if, even with your parents even if they don't accept you you have to be patient and then just live life as it is as it is because most people are not gonna accept you and that's how it is and mm -hmm. that's something that we need to understand we cannot run away from that i mean you know your parents you know people that you stay with and especially when you want to come out as a gay person or as sexual fluid person you know people that are going to tell you find your good angle how to say it however i always say to people you need to build your home inside your heart first mm -hmm. so that whenever you tell those people they could see where you're coming from they need to see you where you're coming from when I invite somebody to my house and say I'm gay and they look around, I have a fridge, not a envelope. I'm doing a fridge envelope, I can't go serious in life, yes? All I'm saying is that either, either you're going to school, be a child that you pass your mother be proud of, because being, sleeping with the same gender or different gender, that one is, is, is not who you are. It's a thing that you're supposed to do in life, you know, you are supposed to have sex, but whatever, you need to be respectable child mjana o mamela yo mjana o o oenza ezinto ezishonga bazali bakhe so 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 that we never you tell them about sexuality they will say okay i am willing to listen 
You cannot be smoking drugs and stealing pots and telling us you're gay. We were thinking it's drugs. Like, okay, Utin, right now. How many did you smoke on plunge? So, what I'm saying, as a gay person, find yourself. So, just make sure that you don't focus on, on your sexuality. Mm -hmm. Focus on you as Undi Pile, as U Nati, as Ununda Chazawa. So, find yourself, be you, be yourself. Once you do find yourself, you could tell whoever you want to tell that, okay, this is my sexuality. This is what happened in my life. Um, be yourself. And especially when we tell you be yourself, we actually don't explain what, what, what we mean. Be yourself, we mean be independent. Be the person you are proud of, your, of uh, yourself. You need to look in the mirror and say, I am proud of myself. That's being yourself. And then you could come out, you could tell people. If you know your parents are true Christian, you need to find a way to tell them. Yeah. Yeah. And also to a parent, you give you you actually give better child. You're expecting a lot. A child need to be that. Need to be that. I I apologize. I'm really like on behalf of Jesus. I apologize. Things doesn't always run as your parents planned. But all I'm saying with God always have a plan for you. You are not a bad parent at all. You're not a bad parent. You are a good parent. But God have his own plan, your child, jig jig, same gent, heavy heavy, same WhatsApp group. But what you could do as a parent would be either you, you make a choice, you want to see your child dead or you want to see your child alive. Do you want to see yourself, your child happy or want to see your child miserable? Do you want to spend the rest of your, your life with a good relationship with your child or without? Do you want to understand more about this decision that they are making in their life? Or you when I say I'll fun go for what? So this doesn't come from you as a parent, and then as you know, you know, you're starting. I'm just going to get advice from people, but now I'm Andreas. Do I? I mean, my father died. We, I was we were not talking to him. We had no good relationship. And one thing, even if I would see him, I'm trying to, and like I don't think I even wish to meet him one day and fix things because it's it's too late. I am I am here, I'm happy, he's six feet under. There's just a lot. Like I we just can't talk. He can this thing that I wanted him to do that he not do. That even if he can't be right now, he cannot do. He can he used not to read my report from school and I'm not going to school right now. Is he gonna read them? He used not to pay me school fees. If he's back and we talk, is he gonna pay my school fees? It's too late and Jesus loved me and I'm happy. Yeah. Nina and I understand. We just want to turn the turn, 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 turn. I am so happy. So yeah, just make sure as Muzali fix things when time is there. And Jeng Omdana don't say things go but I now you after degree I'm this our armor son. If your parents want you in their life and they are willing to listen, please child give them a chance. Longisa in the bayakono chess nibe right. Go but we only have one life and you need to live it perfectly. Do your part. Don't blame it. Thank you guys for Thank watching this episode. My name is Nehemia Arvansimango Sun slash Lengis very soon. And I'm Luca Nyo Lengisi and Sun Tobi Simango. We thank you very much for watching this and I uh, hope whoever is gonna find this is gonna learn something and be inspired. And yeah, be inspired to be who you are and live life happily. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't forget the main point of this clip. Our sexuality is not a first and it's really not, not a first. Okay. So if you so you can also watch my YouTube channel, I'm advertising my YouTube channel in, in YouTube. So the Mia Show on Facebook, the Mia Show and in Instagram, the Mia One, Twitter, YouTube, the Mia Show. Um Yeah, that is the Mia Show, the Mia Show, the Mia Show, the Mia Show, the Mia Show. Uh, oh, we also have a recording company. It's, it's called LM, which is Loki and, and Mia, Mia Media Empire. So we we record recording artists. So right now this is not the channel. So this channel here is here. The subscribing button. If you haven't subscribed, press subscribe to my social media news notification. Keep supporting people that are trying to make change into the queer life because we have what we have and we have each other. I want you to love each other and I want to thank you so much to Um Dalship. Thank you, Le yeah. Yeah. So I want to say thank you to Yolanda mm -hmm. for, for actually doing this great work. Uh, keep doing it. 
No matter when your breasts become bigger and they're heavy, please make sure you <laughs> carry them and keep keep recording, keep interviewing homosexuals. No. My YouTube channel is about mod so for me, it come to I, the concept come from when I was young. I, I I when my father didn't want me, I wanted to research of because he, he used to call me, oh you gay, you don't watch that show. So Ngosha means you're homosexual. I did not know what a homosexual was. I tried to read in in Zimbabwe there's no even one library that had a book at that moment. I had no phone. So I'm thinking now there's phones, there's everything. I want a younger person who's being called these names to be able to Google gay and find my, my, my face everywhere on the internet and starting to learn about it. I I also have a blog which calls Nehemia Van um, I I I once had a topic that was kind of it actually trended where I say a boy in a green nail polish. So it was, it, I think it was like a month when I used to, I put the green nail polish and people in train, they look at me like, and then people like, were like, what? hello, and people were like smiling. So it kind of, they recognize the senior polish, they think, oh, he's gay. And some are being friendly. And some people are going, ah, you know. So, and some of them, like, you guys just look at me, see my polish, you assume. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I just like no polish. Maybe, maybe my, my, my nails are bad. There's something that happened. Also, I'm just trying not people not to scare people. Mm. So I'm, I'm covering them with the no polish. So, yeah. So I'm trying to tackle topics that matter the most. Uh, yeah, and I also, I also have hot topics. So hot topics, I'm talking about things that are trending, da 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 da. But those I normally do, they put on Facebook. So, yeah. Don't. Forget. forget, don't forget. Subscribe at the bottom and then there's Indian Gati Indo editing. Press it. So try a post the episode any. Uzo yas now. Uko mu galship. Open the wires our teta nis nis taban. Nis on mamel. Go ba. Love you. We're gonna do episode another after our wedding. <laughs> 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 <laughs>